Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian. And Jinx here. And welcome to Space Crew on the PlayStation 4 Pro. All right, guys. They knew we were going to be playing this. Uh, we played Bomber Crew when it came to the PlayStation 4 and had an absolute blast. I don't know how well we did at it. I guess we did okay. <laughs> Everyone died. A lot of patrons so died. Many times. Yeah. So... You know we had to play this one because we had, we had a lot of fun with that one, naming everybody after the patrons, and I uh, just had a, a good time with that. I think we did like 10 videos on it. And people were very invested. Yes, quite a few people were very invested in their characters, and uh, we eventually ran out of patrons and started naming them after just regular old viewers that were watching. Uh, so we're going to probably do that in this series as well, guys. I just wanted to, to say that here in the beginning. Uh, we'll talk about more of that when we get into the game. Let's go and jump into it. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how you... Exp you know, describe these type of games, uh, we'll just show it to you, because uh, it's quite unlike anything I've played before. It's, you're managing a crew to, you know, in the first game, a bomber in World War II, and then this game, a uh, spaceship. Uh, so I did uh, do three missions. Uh, you notice I'm broke because I just upgraded my ship. Uh, so I did three missions, and uh, that's basically the tutorial. We'll be running through that again in this series, guys. Just for everybody who wants to see everything. Didn't want to kind of familiarize familiarize myself with the controls. So hopefully we can save some lives. Welcome to Athena Station. We have a mission that needs your immediate attention. It appears a module in a comms array by the, mu by the moon is malfunctioning. We're not expecting any complications. This will serve as a perfect opportunity to go over some basic training. We need you to go and retrieve the module, repair it on your ship, and deposit it back into the comms array. It doesn't sound complicated at all. Yeah, we should be able to <laughs> handle this. All right, so again, this is the tutorial, so they're just gonna teach us how to play. Oh God, just going from you know the bomber crew to this and seeing how many slots there are stresses me out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, I don't know, I kind of noticed that it's a little bit easier to play. Oh really? That's okay. what it seems like. There is a lot more to it though, uh, so I will say that. And they'll kind of go over all that in here. Uh, what's interesting is that the ship we have is called the Runner Duck. My first ship was had a completely different name, and it was white, white and blue. All this one is green. Uh, so we, you can customize all that a bit later. Uh, so they want us to select our, or deselect our captain. All right, so now they want us to test the zoom in. Space. Mm -hmm. Maybe zoom in a little bit. There we go. All right. We'll zoom in, move around the ship. Take a look at it all. And clearly they don't feel that that is good enough. You gotta zoom out and rotate around it. Oh, okay, yep. But I wasn't reading it right. All right, so let's go ahead and tag the objective. Airship definitely needs a paint job. Yeah, I'm not digging the green ship and I think we're stuck with this ship for a while as well. Oh no. Yeah, for at least the first two missions. Until it explodes. Until it explodes, <laughs> yep. Depending on the type of waypoint, your ship will orbit or align with it. Uh, and then we can fast forward too. Until we get over there. It's a lot of travel time, kind of like in the, the Bomber Crew game. Though luckily it does allow you to, to fast forward through this. However, I would say that there's a bit more travel time than there was in the Bomber Crew. Uh, but I, I guess, guess that's fitting. Space. Yeah, because you, you are in space. Alright, so we want to select our captain and charge up our hyper jump. And engage. Alright. So we are at the moon. And you do have to do like a series of hyper jumps. Wanna read that first, Jess? Looks like we've got some uninvited guests. Our scanners are picking up incoming phasmin activity to our location. We're uncertain how many are on their way, so make sure all your target weapon stations are met. All your target weapons? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all your reticle stations. <laughs> Alright, so they want us to, to assign our engineer to a weapon station. This one on the side engineer? here. Uh, yeah, I think that's you did. You're the one doing all the repairs. Yeah. yeah. I think that's what you did last time. Had to go out on the wings. We'll definitely be adding Jinx and myself into this series. Uh, let me need to 
I'm Go ahead gonna and target die. these guys. I already know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're all gonna <laughs> die. Aliens. Well, with the engineer, what I've noticed in this one is that I certainly, I certainly feel like you spend a lot more time controlling the engineer in this one than you did in the bomber crew one, or at least I do. All right, so again, everything is under the control of your of your characters. You just kind of point them in the direction that mm -hmm. they need to be firing at. Yep. Yep, and then they do the firing. Uh, here in the early game, there's not really much we can do to help out uh, outside of like repairs and stuff like that. Uh, but as we get into later game, we'll get like new abilities. You can see down here that we're, we've got Lee selected. If we looked at Clark, it also says locked for training. Uh, so we're kind of limited uh, on what we can do because one, we're in the tutorial, and two, we have very low level characters here. I think there's another one we need to mark somewhere. They didn't expect any complications. All right, so just one more. Be attacking us. One more alien. There we go. Good, Good work. work. That looks like the last of them. Repair the probe and return to base. All right. That's all we needed to do. No, well, we gotta go repair. Oh, that's right. Repair the probe now. So this is a component that was not in uh, bomber crew. So we got them selected, in, and they want us to bring them over here, where you can have, you can bring objects onto your ship. Oh, you know, really? With the retrieval here, and you can also have your ship invaded by aliens. So aliens board your ship. Yeah, they board the ship, and then you have like uh, rifles up on the the sides, where you can go grab and, and have your characters use them to fight. And if they don't uh, get a rifle, they can't can't defend themselves. Dang it. Oh, now, crap. there is a, uh, like a slot in each character for an additional item. We're repairing this, by the way, with our engineer. And then we just kind of kick it out in the spaceship. Yeah, <laughs> yep. Uh-huh. So, uh... Like it is new. There's, like, a, a secondary, like, a little special slot, and you can have different items there. And one of the items you can have is, like, a secondary pistol, like, laser pistol. Okay. So that'll let them defend themselves that they have that. motherfuckers. Yeah. Computer jinx. All right, so yeah, we gotta deposit it. So yeah, this is the mechanic that wasn't in Bomber Crew, as as you'd expect. I don't recall anybody like jumping off of fighter planes onto B-52 bombers to take over the plane no, but in World I War would've. II. <laughs> yeah, Jinx would have <laughs> though. Uh, so now we need to have him. Re okay, so I see. Let's go and return back home. Good job, boys. Wait, that is not where we're supposed to go. We're supposed to go this way. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so let's go ahead and speed it up, guys. I guess that was relatively painless. Well, I mean, this is the first mission, Jinx. All right, and then we need to charge up our hyper jump and engage it. Yeah, I wouldn't really know what kind of genre to include this game in. Yeah, that's either. what I, I was. Normally, I say, "Oh, well, this is this type of game or whatever." But yeah, I don't. I don't really know what genre you'd include this in. I guess like crew management yeah, or something true. like that. And it's a more popular genre these days. You're seeing a lot more of that now. So I want us to land here. The game certainly puts you in some crazy, hectic situations. Oh yeah, the game gets yeah. So hectic. If it's anything like Bomber Crew, obviously I've only played three missions of it so far, but yeah, if it's anything like Bomber Crew, well, let's just say we are going to take some casualties, guys. <laughs> some people are going to die. But All not right. today. Not today, man. So if you've played Bomber Crew or watched us play it, all this is going to look very, very familiar. They kept more the same than what they actually changed, from what I noticed. It really is just Bomber Crew set in space. Which I'm cool with. Bomber Crew is awesome. You need to do some character customization. Yes, that's uh, what we'll be able to do after mission two. Uh, this first mission, we don't have anything unlocked. We just have the mess hall. Uh, mess hall is basically like the view in Bomber Crew where you're looking at like your whole base. Mm -hmm. And then it shows you know, how many missions you completed, how many crew members you lost, all that kind of good stuff. All your stats down at the bottom. Also, the news, uh, you know, up there on the, the TV screen mm -hmm. corresponds to the missions that you're doing. Uh, so they have, like, news stories. So you can kind of watch those and just kind of let you see all your, you know, people eating and stuff. 
Uh, but other than that, aliens came. Uh, so that's all we have unlocked right now. And this is the mission briefing room. Select a mission for your crew. We have no choices, so we'll do anime forces at Phobos. We'll gain 1,000 credits, 500 research. Got I always forget you have to hold everything for this one. That always messes me up when they require you to like hold buttons. Mm -hmm. Although this is a real combat mission, there are still a few features of your ship that we'll need to try out. At some points during the mission, some control of your ship and crew will be locked for training purposes. Alright, so I want us to select our captain. And launch the ship. Here we go. Mm -hmm. So I think this is where they're going to like break down like all the different uh, locations on the ship. Or all the positions, I should say. Right, so they want us to go ahead and start moving. We're going to Mars, Jinx. All Red right. planets. And I'm waiting for the <laughs> <laughs> next order to come up. I know there's something about to happen. All right, so let's go and charge it up. And get the hypercharge engaged. We have a ship computer to talk to us. Yes. Uh, okay, be before you hyper jump, let's run through your, how your ship's reactor works. All right, so you select your engineer. Okay. This is the engineer station panel. From here, you can modify our reactor output to the ship's different systems, shields, weapons, engines, and gravity generator. So I think that's pretty cool. That allows you to, you know change where your power is going to. Now, while charging for hyper jump, four units of power will be diverted and locked to the engines. Until it is upgraded, the reactor has only four units of power, so currently all your reactor power is being used to charge for hyper jump. Okay. Notice your energy weapons are shown that they do not have any power to operate. So on those two guns are energy weapons, so therefore they will need electricity you know, or power, I should say, to be able to, to operate, while the ones on the side do not. They're so like auto you're cannons. And they're writing for hyper jump, you can't fight. Yeah, yeah, you can't do anything. You're only those auto cannons, fire your shields would be down, everything else. But that's with the, the beginning reactor, though. Uh, later, that you get like more powerful reactors, I assume. Uh, the, ge the gravity generator and shield recharger also require power. All right, so the shields might work, you just can't recharge them. Uh, after you complete your hyper jump, reactor output will be returned to the previously set balance and everything will be operational again. Alright, so, so let's... So if you don't have gravity, are you just like floating around? Yeah, your characters move a lot slower without the gravity because they're like floating. Yeah, that's interesting. Mm-hmm. Alright, uh, so now they want us to select the engineer and remove a bit of power from the gravity. So they're going to show you that here, Jinx. So now the gravity has no power. And then we can place that into something else. You know, into our engines, weapons, or shields. They want us to put into weapons. That will increase their effectiveness. We're going to be doing some fighting. And that doesn't affect the auto cannons either. Uh, so the shields, of course, you know, make your shields more powerful, while the engines make it so that you have better evasiveness, so it's harder for people to hit you. Uh, select the security officer. And they're going to have us put him on the gun. Now, I don't know why they're having him run all the way over to that gun I rather know, than come right? over to this gun, <laughs> the nearby one. Especially because I think they're going to have us put somebody on the other gun soon. I think they just want us to see how slow yeah. Lee is when he's, when he's floating. <laughs> and he's out of control. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's much slower than walking. Enemies incoming, full ship and crew control has been returned to you. Set your reactor power to your preference and move your crew to weapon stations as required. All right, so we're going to be moving Lee back to the front there so that our engineer can operate the closer gun, the one that's closer to him. Incoming. All right, so we'll get all these guys in marked, and then let's go to the engineer, and I think we'll probably put the gravity back on and then have him move over to here. I just feel like it's too important to have people running around. Yeah. In most well, cases. Well, when you have a better reactor and you can, you know, change up your power a bit, uh, you know, you can have like five power points or six power points or whatever mm -hmm. it is. Then you kind of get a little more, bit more options what you want to do with that, where you want to put the the extra power into. I like the space setting though. Yeah, the space setting's pretty cool. So far, I'm liking the game. Yeah, and I've only done three missions, but yeah, I'm liking it so far. 
All right, so one of our shields are, or two of our, our shields are getting wrecked. You'll see those on the bottom left corner, guys? Uh, that's, oh, okay. the shields are quite low. Oh, no. The one on our right side is, is pretty damaged. That means Clark is probably going to be taking some hits. Can they be repaired? The shields, well, they regenerate once oh, they're not I taking see. hits. So, yeah, it's, it does result in uh, whoever's on that side taking a bit of damage. And unfortunately, well, there's not much. Clark needs to do a better job blowing shit up. Yeah, I blame Clark. It's all his fault. But you can see this kind of recharging on its own yeah, whenever it's not bit. being hit. Now, there's a few things we can do a bit later. Again, we just don't have anything open to us, so we're kind of just standing here until they, our guys do their job. But this gets a lot crazier and more hectic later on. Once we have more, like, uh, options available to us and, and things start getting a little bit more challenging. Things that can go wrong. Mm -hmm. So you can see that the shields are, are restoring now. Uh, we do not want to go that way. We want to go that way. There we go. So we're going to fast forward this a bit. And now our shields are recharged. Hooray. So below the shields is the reactor. And I think it can take damage up to when it loses the first bar before there's any like negative consequences to that. So you don't have to run and repair the reactor as soon as it takes a little bit of damage. Uh, which is something I learned. Every time I, the little damage icon came up for the reactor, I was like, oh, i got to run over there <laughs> and go repair it real quick. Until I realized that it does that with even a little bit of... Oh, I didn't realize we were, we're ready. We're there. My bad, guys. We're just standing here. We're just floating around in space. While I talk. <laughs> Alright, so... I think so we have here? enemies that's going to attack us here soon. Yeah. Uh, so we need to find them and mark them. There they are. All right, excellent. Feels like there's a lot more this time. Yeah, a little bit more. I think we'll take a bit more damage. I think uh, this is going to allow us to, you know, for the first time, try out our engineer on repairing some stuff. <laughs> Again, just not a lot that we can do. Uh, we should be patrolling, though, if we don't have a waypoint. So at least, like, the ship's moving. Yeah. What is that? What is what? That? Weird-ass rock. Uh, asteroid or something? What does it look like? Big ol' asteroid. All right, so it looks like maybe two left. Oops. I'm gonna have to go back to back home. Is that supposed to be Phobos? Maybe, yeah. I assume so. Uh, because this, moon. because this is Mars here, so yeah, maybe that's what that's supposed to be. Is that what it looks like? Is it really all lumpy like know. that? I was thinking it was not, but I was thinking it was an asteroid. But I think we have more we need to target. Yep, I'm just standing here. <laughs> yeah, we got a whole bunch of more enemies. Let's get them, go ahead and get them all marked. All right, excellent. Clark, man, people really, mm -hmm. or aliens, I should say. Well, really want to destroy his side. one of the, the abilities we get uh, down here, once we get to level two, uh, you have like offensive or defensive piling in modes. Uh, where with the offensive, you're always like chasing after the enemy to try and find them and shoot them. Mm -hmm. Well, with the defensive, your pilot will try and navigate your ship so that your weakest shields will be away from the enemy. Oh, and your, smart. your strongest shields are like to them. And that kind of gives your, your weak shields a little bit of time to recharge. Again, we'll have all kinds of cool little abilities that we'll get, even here in the next mission, that we don't have yet. Because I think everybody will level up after this, as long as they don't die. Is there people I still need to mark? I uh, think just, so. just taking a long time to get them killed. And part of that is because they don't have very good accuracy. So if you look at like the non-gunners, their accuracy is 30%, while the gunners have a 46% accuracy. So that's the reason why this is taking so long. Yeah, that's not great. Yeah, the accuracy is too damn low. Over noobs. Mm hmm. Everybody's rookies. All right, so I think that's it. Ta da! Yeah, oh, maybe not. I don't know, it says clear enemies, isn't it? Mm hmm. Oh, there we go. It just took a minute. All right, excellent. So let's go ahead and return back to base. Are we not there yet? Okay, we need to go here. So I'm charge it up and engage. Hold on to your butts. 
Alright, so now we're in Mars. Or at Mars. And are we done? Tag a high spirit. Yep, it looks like we want to go to the next area now. Back to the Earth Athena station. Before you return to Athena, we'll explain a little bit about your captain's pilot modes. On the captain station panel, you can select the current pilot mode. Although I can't do anything. Looks like maybe. <laughs> Currently, as a jump gate waypoint has been tagged, you can see that the waypoint locked is highlighted. Let's try canceling this waypoint. Alright, so we set it to patrol, and that'll cancel any waypoints. And just results in you kind of patrolling the area. So yeah, now we need to remark it. And Ready engage. To hyper jump. The hyper jump. Alright, so I think that's the second mission. Yeah, we're done. Alright, not too bad. Mm -hmm. Not too bad. Yep, things are going well for the tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we turn home. So I think this will now open up crew customization for us. So a bit of make Jinxon and Praetorian. Get a little bit of customization going. And we'll kind of explain what we're going to do for, for patrons for the rest of our, our team. And everyone else, once everyone dies. <laughs> once everybody dies. All right, so the runner duck has returned. And everybody should be leveling up to, to the second level. So these are the new abilities we just got. The attack and defensive modes, piloting modes for the pilot. We got the reactor boost for the engineer, which is nice. It gives you, I think, two more points uh, of power for your reactor that you can distribute. But it does result in your engineer. Your engineer has to stay there in order to keep that bonus. So he can't be on a gun. Oh, really? He's yeah. just going to sit there? Yeah, he's got to be sitting there on his little console. I mean, he's got to be Playing pushing buttons, I guess. Or to, whatever. Yeah, keep the reactor boosted. Uh, the shield replenish for the security, that'll replenish all your shields, uh, but again he has to be at his station, so if he's on the gun you have to move him back. And then the focus fire, that I think increases it to like 100% so they hit everything. That's for your gunners. So they now have actual abilities, I'll explain it all here. Uh, so yeah, heightens aim accuracy to the turret for a short period, so on so on. So you guys can read that. The shield replenish is nice. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And then we got our first bit of equipment. Oh, yeah. I forgot we have, like, armor and yep. stuff. Yep. that you get kind of customize your crew based on looks and utility. So this is the crew gear room. And here you can customize your crew's gear. Different crew gear will have different properties, such as resistance to damage, resistance to radiation, or improved mobility. And we'll just go through this. All right. So let's go and get everybody. Uh, again, we're only going to create two characters for right now. Uh, the first one is going to be the pilot, and or the captain, and I'm going to be the captain, guys. <laughs> captain Bray. <laughs> captain Bray Torian. Yep. So last time, I think I was a gunner uh, rather than the pilot. And this one, I'm going to do. I'm going to be the, the captain, though. Uh, so you can be a lady or a man. You can be green. And you can be mm -hmm. all kinds of colors. Well, yeah, because you got aliens. So. I'm going to be pasty white. So yeah, you can be green if you Naturally. want. Naturally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll just be that color there all right so let's find some mouse I, it feels like they have the same exact yeah a little like bit. character customization from the previous game seems very similar except with some alien colors do mm -hmm. you have facial hair yeah you got facial hair okay so we're just gonna have like a regular old mouth can i just get like a straight line or something <laughs> <laughs> not too big though um then we'll get some eyes going here you need your bushy brows <laughs> i do have some bushier brows but not like the out of control bushy brows. Like that. Like that's a bit excessive. I don't know. Those aren't out of control. They're <laughs> rectangles. <laughs> we'll like get that. any tamer than that. <laughs> and then eye color blue. All right. Hairstyle. They gave me gray hair. They're trying to say something about me. <laughs> yeah, old man. Uh -huh. Let's go and change that now, guys. We go with green, blue hair. Just get some like dark brownish right, where's black. Where's the natural colors? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I kind of feel like I got to have a mohawk. If we were to be accurate, then it'd look like... Nope, not not quite that. I saw it here. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Almost there. <laughs> That's, I'm, I'm getting close to that, this guys. This is fantasy. This is fantasy, so I can look like whatever I want. And I'm thinking, like, 
Oh, you can have the spa haircut. That's nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It does seem to very much based off of, like, Star Trek. Yeah, we'll just do, like, a little flat cut here. We did hair color. Gotta get that facial hair. And, you know, we're just gonna go with the, a beard. I doubt we'll find anything better than this here. We gotta get that black beard. Oh, they won't let me do my little, uh... I guess we'll look through this real quick. I can't get my grays in there. <laughs> yeah, we'll just do black beard. And... I forgot that you gotta have a first name and a last yeah. name. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, well, it'll be... I guess... Papa. <laughs> Papa Praetorian. Big Papa. Yeah. Yep. Maybe it should have been Poppy. I don't know. Is everyone <laughs> on the crew going to have to call you Papa? <laughs> yeah. Everybody calls me Pops. <laughs> Alright, pop up a red door in. <laughs> <laughs> PP for short. <laughs> Alright. So let's go in and get Pop Up Ray Dorian <laughs> suited up. Now with the uh, with the captain, he never leaves the captain's seat. Uh, or he shouldn't, because the, the, the ship stops flying. Yeah, so, so unless he goes heel heal, heals himself, then he's never gonna leave the state the uh, his seat. So with that in mind, you don't need to care about speed at all. Uh, so, like, we're going to put the helmet on him. I, if you see down there below, it's going to increase our army by, armor by 10 and decrease our speed by 10. But it's a trade-off. Again, we don't really need the speed. You're 46 years old. Oh, jeez. Good God. I used to be at courier delivery as well. Okay. That's a big jump. Uh, so... I assume everyone else on Earth is dead. Yep, that's <laughs> that's why they made me the captain. Maybe I just performed really well, Jinx, and I, I slowly got promoted there. Uh, so these are all just regular uniforms that don't give you any benefits, but you can change the color. We're going to go with the lighter armored suit. Cause again, that's cool. Yeah, we don't really care about the, the, la the reduced speed. Oops, not bad. Let's go back to him. We're not done with Prey Dorian yet. Uh, so this is what he wants. this is the holster spot that I told you guys about, where you get one item you can place there. A lot of different choices, but we have none just yet. Look well, at the gloves. The gloves seem nothing but good. They just give you armor with no penalties. And they look cool. While well, the boots are like in Bomber Crew, something the armor boots are not something you're gonna want on certain characters because they drastically reduce your speed. I run around barefoot on the ship. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. I think, yeah, we're good here. Yeah, so Praetorian's done, so let's go ahead and do the next character. Uh, which character do you want to be, Jinx? And we'll go ahead the and do engineer. you. engineer. So you're going to be the engineer again? All right, so let's go ahead and design Jinx. She'll be a lady. Give me some babies. Pasty. Did you want, like, this yeah. pasty? <laughs> you're going to be that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what? What? Yeah. Open want, mouth. You want this one? <laughs> <laughs> we need, like, a sleepy... The sleepy look. <laughs> Is there any sleepy jinx in here? There's concern. There's a lot of concerned. I, I think like, that's all of them. Yeah. I feel like that one eyeballs. All right, just tell me when. That one's fine. This one? Yeah. All right, eye color. Green. Green. Of course. Hairstyle, jinx. So many choices. Mm-hmm. That one's fine. This one here? Yeah. And then hair color? Depends yeah, on the purple. time of day. <laughs> I guess purple if you can. Did you see it already? No. Oh, there we go. Dark purple. This purple? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so what is your first name? Well, you're Papa. I gotta be Mama. You gonna be Mama? Mama <laughs> Jinx? Alright. And Jinx. You're forgetting my I did. I'm like, well, that doesn't look right <laughs> at all. <laughs> all right. So with the other characters, uh, I guess we'll do the armor real quick for Jinx here. So I don't want those boots. you won't be using any boots because you, yeah, it's all about speed here. You know, we can actually equip this for everybody, the gloves, because yeah. they're beneficial for everybody. Uh, with the armor, I don't think you should have armor on. We should we should really have you focus on speed. And so you can just pick any outfit, whatever I'll one that, that you like. Suit. You don't want the Hawaiian shirt, James? I don't know. I'm kind of digging the Hawaiian shirt. But You're no, going to do the jumpsuit? I feel suit? like I need the high-speed jumpsuit. Okay. High-speed jumpsuit it is. 
And it's got footies, Oops. so I don't need boots. <laughs> you know, like footed pajamas. I think that might be it. Yeah, I don't think you need anything else. You're gonna be all about speed, so. So with these other characters, we will equip them with their gear. However, uh, obviously these are gonna be named after the patrons, so we're not gonna name them yet. Uh, if you are a patron and you'd like to have a character in the game, then let us know what position you want. We'll try and give it to you, obviously, if everybody wants to be, you know, the comms guy, which I suppose we haven't said who they all are. Here's the comms guy. We have a security officer and then two weapons officers. That's what we got available. So, I mean, it's like if everybody wants to be sec the security officer, then we'll just have to, you know, pick and choose who gets that role. Uh, but, yeah, just let us know what position you'd prefer. Uh, if... If you're a position where we're gonna have not have you in armor, which there's not too many positions that probably won't be wearing armor actually, uh, but I think yeah, I think they're all gonna be wearing armor. I think Jinx is the only one that doesn't get yeah. armor. Uh, but what you can tell us is how you want your character to look. Uh, you know, hair color, eye color, facial hair, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, if you don't say anything, we'll just you know pick Make something it random. How we see fit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how we'll do it. Uh, so with the comms officer. Comms officer doesn't move very much, so we'll equip him with some good gear. And it seems like he needs a mic if mm -hmm. he's going to be mm -hmm. a comms officer. Yeah, so we'll equip him with that. We might not give him the boots, though. Yeah, I think we'll wait to give him uh, boots for right now. I think this is pretty good for the comms officer. Uh, so let's go ahead and now do the weapons officer. And this is one of the, one of the positions where we might want them to have a little bit more speed. Uh, so we won't do the helmet. I know it's kind of weird the security officer doesn't have a helmet. Uh, the security officer does move a little bit more. You gotta fight aliens, maybe. Now, with the weapons officers, they're not gonna be moving at all. They'll just stay on their guns. Clark enjoys darts. What is oh, my yeah. interest hobby darts. in hobby? Yeah, we'll look at all of them here in a minute. That might impact the patrons and who they pick. If you want somebody who has How old similar are. tasks or similar uh, hobbies. Our similar favorite colors. Asteroid miner. Right, so I guess it's just kind of needs... random, the little information that they give. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's random, and I don't think it has any effect. It's just for fun. Just for shits and giggles. All right, so I think we're good. Yeah, I think everybody's equipped. Uh, but just to look at all of them, we already looked at Praetorian. Uh, De Groot. He's 32 years old. He likes music. His home time, hometown is Cairo. Jinx is 28 years old, my so younger. My favorite color is gray. I don't like fish, though. I thought purple was your favorite color. Well, I do like purple, but I feel like gray is my base color. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they they made Jinx younger, so I'm sure she's happy about that. 28. That's that's a good that, That's good a good age. age. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if I had to choose any age, I'd probably choose 25, I think. That's when I... Right before I started having health issues. <laughs> yeah. I'd go with 25. I'd probably go with, like, 28. Uh, Clarence, or Garance Lee, 36 years old. Interest is literature, hometown, Beijing. Theodore Clark, 26, year old, 26 years old. Interest, travel, hobby, darts. And Cornell David, 35 years old. Previous occupation is asteroid mining. Favorite color is blue. Okay, so we are good to go with our crew. So let's go ahead and start the third mission. So we have a choice here. We can either transport supplies. They're both low risk. Uh, but they do have different rewards. So this is 2,000 credits and 1,000 research. The other one is 500 research and 1,500 credits. So clearly we should go for the this one. The bigger number. Yeah, let's go for the bigger numbers. I think this one's a little bit longer mission, though. A little bit more to it. I think we have to travel kind of far. This I might also... Yeah, for transport and stuff, it might take a while. I think this one also gives us... A choice of which way we want to go. Before starting this mission, let's quickly go over some of the equipment on your ship. The equipment is stored in the equipment racks around the ship. You can customize your ship's equipment loadout between missions on Athena Station. There are four types of equipment spacesuits, fire extinguishers, base rifles, and medkits. As a training exercise, we started a controlled fire at the back of the ship for your crew to put out i.e. Jinx. <laughs> <laughs> Jinx, go play with the fire. Alright, so we gotta get her selected. And we'll have her get... I need my trusty fire extinguisher. Uh -huh. Jinx is very familiar with the fire extinguisher. Oh, shoot, I gotta press X. My bad. I was thinking I just hold it over there and I'm I good. I said I am very familiar <laughs> with the 
extinguisher. <laughs> Couldn't tell. Uh, so she'll extinguish the fire force and then stow it back. Because you always put back. I'm so good. Occasionally, your engines may become damaged. This will cause them to leak radiation into your ship, harming your crew. Good times. To repair your engines, you'll have to send a crew member out of the ship. Make sure they pick up a spacesuit before going out. We've marked an engine as damaged. Let's try out repairing it now. So this is also something Jinx is quite <laughs> familiar with. How many, how many times you had to hang off that damn wing? Yeah, just be <laughs> out there on the wing. Didn't you die like out. four times? We had like we had to keep naming yeah. you and cloning you. Yeah, because you did like a dive bomb while I was on the wing, and I flew <laughs> You're off. Flying off, yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and have... We got the spacesuit on. We do have to make sure we put Jinx in the spacesuit before we put her out in space. Don't you Sandra Bullock me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so she's going to repair this up. It does take a while, so we'll have to fast forward it some. I just sit and twist, that's yeah, all. Yeah, that's all you do. You just rub your butt on it. It's magic, man. I knew my butt was magic. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I always feel better when you rub your butt on me. <laughs> Maybe it is magic. <laughs> yeah, it makes me feel a lot better. So you don't have to have them take the spacesuit off if you don't want to. I suppose you could always leave her in the yeah, spacesuit. Yeah, you could suit. just live in the spacesuit. It might slow her down or something, True. though. I'm not sure. But we'll have her put it back, guys. Get it back it's just position. less shit to do. You'll need to use phase rifles if Phasmids board your ship. If one of your crew is incapacitated, you can have another crew member use a med kit to revive them. You didn't happen to see where the third plasma rifle was. I know where two of them are, the obvious two. But I think there's a third one somewhere. I was looking for it uh, when I got there. Is there one by the captain? Is there one by the is captain? Is that it next to the med kit? The one up there by DeGroot? That's not the captain, by the way. That's oh. Combs. Yeah, yeah, there's one up there, and then there's one in the back. But there's another one somewhere, but I don't know what the hell it is. Huh. Okay, yeah, I don't whatever. See it either. Uh, so, those are our med kits. We're healing people. That's the end of item streaming. Continue with your mission. So similar to Bomber Crew, uh, there is a place for you to heal your guys up and where they rest or whatever. So we have that as in addition to the med kits. Only one person can heal at a time though, and there's only like so much that they can be healed. It's like uh, a percentage. Uh, so let's go ahead and get the, the captain. Or actually, we need to figure out where we need to go. Set course. Okay, so that's the fastest route. This is where we have a choice. We have the fastest route. Or the safest route. I assumed we'd go with the safest route. I think I that's probably know. for the best. You don't want to live dangerously. This is, this is our crew's life in our hands, Jinx. <laughs> We're all disposable. I think we should be safe. We know what we signed up for. <laughs> Jinx is trying to kill well, the cr whole crew already. We got crew. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's go and figure out where we need to go. Alright, so I think we need to jump like multiple times. I think we're it's like three to total jumps. I mean, we're not even going to Venus either. That's just like a midway Daddies. trip. Alright, so let's see if there's anybody else to mark. I'm not seeing it. Oh, here we go. Okay, lots of enemies. So let's go and actually start using some of our abilities now. Let's use the focus fire. They do have a cooldown. We'll just focus fire both of them. Just get it done. Uh, we can also go and move our crew around. So to group, for instance, or not to group, excuse me, Jinx. Is going to move to her gun. I'm gonna shoot some shit. And Lee will move over to his gun. Pew, pew. There we go. Beautiful. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> I'm getting to okay, have so enough sound effects. Not enough sound effects for Jinx, so she's gonna have to provide them for us. I always bring my own. <laughs> Alright, so I think that's. Oh, no, nope. there's more. I thought this was a safe way. I guess I'm kind of glad we went this way. Yeah, I imagine <laughs> there. Were, this mission was, it was close, man. I had some serious damage to my ship in this mission. You see, our reactor's already damaged. Oh no! So before, I was always like racing to go repair it. But yeah, you don't need to do that. Is it's this where they teach you about loss? <laughs> <laughs> Get some counseling. Mm hmm. I gotta lose some people. We are ready to charge. Uh, the problem is, one thing you'll notice here: we select Praetorian. Look at the charge time. One minute and six seconds. Oh. So it depends, I think, on how many enemies are, are around you. I think the more enemies that are around you, the maybe, I don't know. I could be making this up, though. <laughs> I just noticed that when you're in combat, the charge time is really long. I mean, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. It's down to 51 seconds now, so that's why it made me think that perhaps 
Yeah, we just destroyed enemies, so yeah, it is based off of... Oh, man. Yeah, it's based off of how many enemies are around you. Alright, so let's go and blast I off. I kind of feel like the captain favored my side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the problem of being married with one of your crew members. Like, I gotta keep Jinx safe. Mm-hmm. Praetorian, I can do this. <laughs> All right, so we need to mark the next area. Oh, we got enemies, too. All right. Let's go ahead and take these guys out and find the next location. I'm just spinning around in circles. We need to go to the asteroid belt. All right, guys, so I don't know if we marked everybody, but, yeah, we are in the thick of combat. They seem to, like, get in front and back of you. Yeah, that's what they seem to do. They just kind of park themselves next to you. Once they get close lame. enough. <laughs> they fly around. Alright, so we could change the defensive to give Jinx a break because Jinx's side got hit kind of hard. It's fine, I can do this. <laughs> Jinx is like, I got this. <laughs> Alright, so shields have been restored on one of the sides. Excellent. Yeah, Focus I think we do got this. Ready to use. I don't know if we'll need it. I don't know, there's a lot more enemies left, so yeah, I guess we'll we'll go ahead and use it. Might as well. Let's go and focus fire here and here. We got a trophy, we're gonna win. I, I could have just used one of them, I suppose. Like only use one at a time. You know, might be for the best. Yeah, them. yep, might be the best way to do it. Alright, so we are ready to go. My shields are non existent. <laughs> <laughs> Jinx is having a rough time of it. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to select Jinx, and she's going to go back to her station. This is Captain Mulgrew of the Destri Destrier. We are under attack. Please help us. <laughs> He's very calm and collected. Uh -huh. I noticed. <laughs> All right, so... Oh, it looks like uh, we need to repair our oxygen. <laughs> our oxygen is damaged. Oh, yeah, we might need that. So Jinx will get that repairing. Oh, and we are under attack. All right. So that's not good. Enemies. Let's go and get these enemies marked. I don't know if there's anybody else. Well, I guess else. if they're under attack, then we'd be under attack, too. Uh-huh. Uh, the asteroids do damage to you if you hit them. And since Praetorian's piloting, we will hit them. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna hit many of them. What do you do to avoid them? Nothing. You can't do anything. You know, oh. you're not you're not in control. So shit. Okay. But they'll take your shields down by a lot if you if you hit them. Oh, Jinx is done. All right. So let's go and have Jinx come over here. And what I'm thinking of doing is having her use her ability, unless there's only a couple enemies left. We'll see how many are left. We got two over that way. Looks like that is it. Just these two here. Why are we going the, the other way? Did way? I did I tell him to go the other way? Maybe. My bad. We're gonna end up running into these damn to go asteroids. The asteroids. Shields are down. I think we should probably. I guess the left shields being down doesn't really matter, because Jinx isn't over there. Is that all it affects, or is it? Well, no, it can damage. chance of. Yeah, they can damage exploding. the stuff. Yeah, they can destroy your your stuff. Uh, but what I was planning on doing with Jinx is having her do the boost. But I don't want to use it if there's only one enemy out there. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, so yeah, I think I keep marking those locations on accident. Yeah. All right, so we're heading off over there, and let's go ahead and mark the landing it pad. seems to be the last of them. We're ready to receive the cargo now. All right, so we're going to fast forward it. Land on over here. It doesn't look like anybody needs a heal. Everybody seems to be pretty good. Took a few hits, but... Shields restored. Just a little bit of scratches and bruises, that's all, folks. Here's your box. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got all kinds of goodies in it. I don't know it. what's in it, because it didn't look. It's top secret, Jinx. Alright, so shields are all restored. Let's go and launch. Let's get the hell out of here. And the runner duck. I feel like we've got to rename this damn <laughs> shit, man. Alright, so again, we get to choose either the, the fastest route or the safest route. We'll I go with like the safest, safest route. route is good. Because it wasn't very safe. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we could do the fastest route if you want, Jinx. I don't care. I don't want to die today. As long as, we got, as long as we got here, I was okay. I just wanted to make sure we got here all right. 
Yeah, I guess we we completed the mission mm -hmm. as far as delivering the goods. Yeah. Oh shoot, is there enemies in there? Or oh no, we hit a, we hit one of the one of the rocks. But you see how much it damaged us? Oh yeah. Yeah. Been... There's another one. It's like somebody's chucking asteroids at yeah, us. Yeah. What the hell? Oh, it just marked that. So easy to mark stuff. I wish that it didn't work that way. Because you're out looking around for enemies and stuff. Yeah, they're like flinging them at us. That's messed up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Chucking asteroids at us. Oh, damn it. I was thinking you it's could It's just too them. easy. It feels like it's just too easy to, to select the, the other location. You just got to hover over it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then you start heading over there. Yep. Now, I know you can look at it this way if you want to look around, True. but... When you're looking around for enemies, though, I mean, you're not trying to mark. You're not trying to mark another location. All right, engage. I kind of feel like you should just have to push something. Yeah. And then, you know, if you want to go somewhere, I think that'd be for the best. All right, so... Oh, no, we don't want to go that way. <laughs> We're going to go back. Go back home. I think we get attacked at least one more time. So we can expect to fight them. I don't know. I think we killed them all. I don't think so, Jinx. There's you always can more pirates. The ship. Yeah, if it gets so damaged, then you hop in the escape pod and shoot off. Oh no, our, our auction is damaged again, Jinx. Oops. Alright, oops. I'm trying to like. <laughs> <laughs> this is hard to do. Like somebody I'm trying to it. not have the wrong person get up and go after it. There we go. Go fix your action, Jinx. You got I this. I feel like that needs to be upgraded. Because <laughs> <laughs> it gets damaged so much. Yeah, oxygen seems kind of important. Now, I don't know if it's like... Wasn't in the, the bomber crew, like, if you're in one of your locations, that you still got oxygen as long as you're at one of the stations? Maybe. I think it worked like that. I could be wrong, though. Yeah, I can't remember. It's been a long time. Mm -hmm. All right, Jinx. You can come back. Good job. Did a great job. Oh, me. I love you can also self-destruct it, too. Oh, something else is damaged. What? It's like stuff okay, is just getting I damaged feel now. like, yeah, we just have a shitty old ship. Mm -hmm. All right, so that is the gravity, I think. I think that's the gravity. No, because you would... Yeah, I think it is gravity. It's got a little person. With, yeah, that's with what that's made me think, but uh, I was uh, thinking you'd be floating right now. Maybe you're holding on to it as your repair. Or maybe I'm just really heavy. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need gravity, Jinx. No. <laughs> oh, nope, no. You don't have time to repair that. Get in your seat. All right, so we've got enemies. So let's go ahead and get those enemies marked. And then I got something we're going to have Jinx do. I don't see any more for right now. Uh, so let's go ahead and have Jinx boost our reactor efficiency 150%. And then we'll put these points into weapons and shields. All right. Good job, Jinx. So she has to stay in that position, guys, in order to finish that. Are we shooting the one that's shooting us? In yeah, the face? we're shooting him. <laughs> mm-hmm. Think... Who are you missing, Lee? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we did it, and so now we need to charge our hyper jump and engage it. All right, so I think that's the end of the third mission. If I'm not mistaken. I think we're here. We might have one more trip. Yeah, we got one more trip. Okay. I need to use the defensive before this ends. Last time I actually had to use it, I had a lot of trouble with the, the shields, man. Fell in me. I wasn't using the abilities enough, the focus fire. Oh, yeah. Yeah, without that focus fire, it just takes too long to kill everybody. So yeah, I ended up having to use a defense so a lot more than I did this time. Be focused. <laughs> All right, so oops. I like our square. Our fighters are just back there popping the Adderalls. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, so we're fighting again, guys. I guess we'll have uh, Jinx. She already did her her move. She ain't gonna be able to do it again for a while. So let's have her hop in the gun. Get back to shooting. Okay, uh, more enemies coming from the rear. Oh, Three more. That booty. Mm -hmm. So this might be a tough fight since the, I think it's the last one before we get home. Uh, shield their low on what side? So let's go ahead and use it this time. Praetorian. Defensive. Protect Clark. 
So yeah, this will result in him always trying to shift it. Away from the enemy. Yeah, shift the weak side away from the enemy there. Kind of protect Clark from damage. All right, so... Did we get them all? There's more coming. Oh. That will stay in the defensive because we still have some highly damaged shields. There's so many aliens. Yeah, there's a lot of them. All right, so, yeah, Clark's shields are still way down. Lee's shields are down as well. Those frontal shields aren't doing great. Yeah, Clark's shields ain't doing shit. Yeah, they don't even recharge them. They keep on getting hit, I think. Yeah, they just keep on getting hit. Oh, there they go. All right, well, yeah, we've been able to keep it, I think, away from the enemy for long enough. Is everybody marked? Is that it? I think so. Yeah, it seems like it. All right, let's return to base, guys. Good job, guys. And I didn't have to heal anybody up this time, either. Last time, I had to re-heal somebody. I don't remember who it was. But somebody had to go sit in the little healing spot because it got all messed up. I'm just a little bit surprised because usually things go a lot more smoother off camera oh, than yeah, they do definitely. on camera. But that has not been the case in this one. Other than me like standing around not doing something every <laughs> once in a while because I'm talking. Right, I guess we could speed this up. Here's another instance of us just sitting here when we could be okay, doing something right. quicker. Just uh -huh. enjoying the ride. Yeah. We're in no rush here, guys. Alright, so let's get back home, man. And then I think now we will have the ability to customize our ship unlocked. So I wanted to get to at least that in this first video, guys. I don't know if we can afford to paint the, the ship. Isn't True. It, expensive? it might be. And also I would like to prioritize uh, the armor that's about to get unlocked. Yeah. Yeah, we get armor unlocked. And I think if we put armor oh, and new guns are unlocked. And my first time through, which I don't know if I have the exact amount of money as I did that time, I was able to get... What are you doing, Papa? I don't know. <laughs> Confused. <laughs> and what the hell's going on? I don't even know. <laughs> that was weird. Uh, but yeah, I was able to get all four pieces of armor put on and two of the guns uh, updated. I don't know if we'll be able to do that this time, but I would like to, which... That resulted, as you guys saw when we first loaded up here, with like 85 credits. So yeah, we wouldn't have the money to change up the color of our ship. Success. Changing the name would probably be free, though. I would hope so. I don't know what we're going to name it, though. I don't know either. Alright, so... Did we get promoted? We did. <laughs> Alright, so now... DeGroot, the comms officer, has the ability to request fighter support. Oh, come that'll assist be us. Yeah, that's going to be super helpful. Calls in friendly fighters that provide additional firepower. We have unlocked the standard plating Mark 1, additional armor plating for your ship, and the plasma cannon Mark 2. So we have better uh, plasma cannons. So I don't know if we talked about this before, but the difference between the, the plasma cannons and the auto cannons, I, I know it mentioned in, it in the tutorial section. Uh, but the auto cannons are, are good at doing damage to the hull of ships, and of course they don't require any power. While the plasma cannons do require the power from the ship, and they do more damage to the to the shields. Oh, okay. This is the spacecraft hangar, and here you can upgrade the equipment on your ship. You can also customize the appearance and name of your ship. All right, so the armor is expensive, seven fifty uh, for each plating, and there's. You know, obviously four locations to put plating on. And then there's the guns, which I think are even more expensive. Yeah, they're 1,425 credits to upgrade to the Mark IIs. So, a lot of different choices here. Um, I, I think we should definitely prioritize armor. So let's go and get the armor and make sure we have it on all sides. Oops. Just kind of reduce the amount of damage that we take over there. I think that'd be helpful. Not put so much pressure on our shields. All right, there we go. So we got a little bit of armor there, and we still have money left. I think we even have enough money to get both guns upgraded if we wanted to. Uh, there's nothing else to, to upgrade here right now, guys. But you can add new escape pods. Oh, we only have okay. one. That means only one person can escape. <laughs> Just one. So we'd have to put new space pods on there, which are 750 each, if we wanted to be able to 
save more than one person. We all go down together. Uh, as far as the equipment, just like in Bomber Crew, we can change the equipment and where it's at. So we have more like uh, phase rifles on there. Uh, you can have, looks like these combined ones. I have like a phase rifle and spacesuit, most multiple spacesuits, or the med kits. So yeah, we can change all these up how we want them to look. Uh, but again, I think we're going to prioritize the guns before we, we look at equipment, guys. I think equipment's fairly... Oh, never mind. It's not. I was going to say it's fairly cheap. It depends on what you're getting, I suppose, on how expensive it is. All right, well, what we can do real quick is use this to see where that other phase rifle is, because I was curious where the hell it was at. I thought there was three. Maybe there's not. Yeah, Maybe that's why I didn't I see it, is because there is no third one. Two. Okay, I thought I saw three arrows, but yeah, that's not the case. Okay. Of course, we have the engines. There's nothing to upgrade on any of these, but I just want to show you guys how it looks. Need to upgrade that oxygen generator. Yeah, you can upgrade all the stuff, including the medical bay, and yeah, the oxygen generator, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, those damages that we took might have just been like just regular old repairs that were needed, rather than so. like damage from the battle. Just wear and tear. Well, yeah, I remember bomber crew had that element that some things like damage easier. Uh, so we can rename this ship. So what do you want to name the ship, Jane? Shit, I don't know. What did we name our ship, our plane last time? Oh, I don't know. I don't know either. I guess we could take suggestions. Yeah, let's I do that. I guess we'll leave this as is for now. I want to see if this costs any money to add stuff on here, because I didn't actually look. It seems like it's all free. Well, that's cool. So yeah, we can just do whatever we want here. All right, well, that's awesome. Uh, let's go and spend the rest of this money, though, before I accidentally buy something I don't mean to. Uh, some, uh, you know, customization that's not that important. Uh, so let's go to an upgrade to the Mark II's plasma cannon. And those are the front and rear weapons, which I guess that's the ones that you want to do the most damage. And then the side ones will remain as the auto cannons for now. Uh, we are broke. We got 120 credits left. So... Just some paint. I, I'm thinking the paint is all free. That's what it seems like. I mean, I could be wrong, but it does seem like it. Uh, so you have like a base paint. Oh, uh, okay, I see how it kind of looks. And then your color pattern. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, then you can also put some stickers on there. In all the different locations. But yeah, it does seem to be free, at least. That's cool. And we could change the... Uh, the text as well, add extra text if we want to. Alright, well, let's go and do the base paint first. So, well, first of all, we should probably take a look at the colors. And the patterns. Yeah, the patterns here. Kind of see, uh. Oh, okay, I see how it goes. And that's nice. Uh huh. We'll pick something that we oh, that's really also like. nice. I like the black, red, and white. That one's cool too. <laughs> you got the Joker colors here. <laughs> Alright, so that's it. Yeah, I'm sure you unlock stuff. So this one here is the one that uh, they had me start out with when I first started here. So which one do you like, Jinx? I don't know, I like that one or mm -hmm. the black and red. This one's nice, too. Yeah, I like that one a lot, too. But... So which one's your favorite here, Jinx? I guess the black and red. Alright, we'll go with that our, one. Then. Our armor is black and red, too. What's this? Oh, okay, you can even customize oh, the particular colors. Cool. So yeah, if we wanted to go like full into it, we could do that. I see. That's nice. Yeah, so you can change the actual colors. Maybe that's something we'll do a little bit later, guys. Uh, but for now, let's go ahead and mess with the base paint a little bit, if I can just get up there. So we can kind of change the way maybe it looks this way. I don't know, I kind of like the stripe. Yeah, I think the strap was probably the best one. This one's all right, too. Yeah. Yeah, that one's not bad, but I don't really like the other ones. That's like a country flag. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go with this one here. Uh, oh, yeah, the stickers. You know, we got to have stickers, guys. We need some skulls. Yeah, I like oh, that one. Yeah. That one's cool. We got the alien busters. <laughs> that one's cool, too. All right, so... I like... Yeah, that one. Or the, or yeah, that one or the this one. I feel. Which one you want, Jinx? 
Well, we can get both, can't we? One on, one each, on each side, maybe. Just in case we can't, which one you like best? I guess I like that one. Okay, so we'll go with this one here. Oops. Or I meant the other one. Oh. <laughs> okay, we'll go with one that you're on. This one here? Yeah. All right. Livery two. Yeah, we can. Okay, so we'll have that one on that one on that side then. All right, so right here, we put all the good ones on the on the back. I know. <laughs> I guess we can just have that. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that works. Uh, do we want it to be like the same on each side? Sure, why not? And we haven't put anything here in the front. Just put something like fireball. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to flip the fireball. And you could flip the fireball if we wanted a fireball. Flip it again. <laughs> Can you keep flipping it? Oh, I thought it would oh, rotate okay. it. But... No, no, it doesn't. I'm just put that on him. Sure. Our scope? I guess we like Earth. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so there's nothing right here. Oh, okay, it's right there. I feel no, like that's unnecessary. Need, yeah, we don't need stickers Oops. down there. No. <laughs> Nobody even look at it. Except for enemies flying up, I guess. True. We'd want to say something to them, though. So, that's just the name of the ship, which we won't be able to change the name up until we have a name. Uh, so, we're going to open that up to suggestions, guys. And I guess with the other stuff that we haven't looked at yet, here's the training. This is the crew training room, and here you can review the skills that your crew have acquired. Once a crew member reaches a certain skill, you can train them with a secondary skill. Similar to while on a mission, hold circle and move around to, to select them. So I don't know if we have anything unlocked here for the secondary skills. Uh, it doesn't look like it. It looks like level four is when they start to unlock. Where do you see that? Just down there. Oh, those are the primary skills. Never yeah, mind. that's the evasive piloting. Huh. Yeah, I'm not able to select anything here. But yeah, I don't see anybody else. Yeah, maybe that maybe we don't have anything. it unlocked yet. Yeah, that's what I would assume. Uh, is that we don't have it unlocked yet. But you can see what the those primary abilities are. You know, like we can inspirational speech, basic piloting. Inspire the crew. Yep. You give all right speeches. <laughs> Com <laughs> officer, here's here here's his abilities. He can auto tag all the fighters, that'd be helpful. Request cruiser support. That sounds cool. Let's have a friendly cruiser come help us. And performance analysis. Jinx's skills. Just reactor boost. That's all you can do. <laughs> I got no skills. <laughs> I push a button. Yep. Uh, the security officer here has a stealth mode. That's cool. An EMP, shield backup power, and shield overdrive. So it seems that the security officer has really cool skills. And then the gunners have weapon overdrive, weapon backup power, weapon boost, and weapon boost too. All right. So yeah, no secondary skills for us to learn just yet, guys. Uh, so I think that's going to be the end of today's episode, guys. Uh, we spent all our money. I don't know where we do the research just yet. I don't, we clearly don't have that unlocked yet. Yeah, I'm sure they'll let us know when we do. Yeah. Because right, we don't have that anything for that yet. Uh, here's the recruitment, which we haven't looked at yet. Just tell you all about it down there. Uh, obviously, we can't rec recruit anybody right now because we have the full crew. I hope we're able to get a couple more members. I, I want to say, you didn't you get something to let you have like new a new person in bomber crew? Uh, that's what I thought, but I yeah, could be wrong. I hope we get more than six. I know you, that's a lot of people to manage, but I feel like if we had more more crew members, we'd have a little bit more options open to us. Uh, if we didn't have to always have all the crew go to the guns. Mm -hmm. uh, so those are our stats down at the bottom. We're going to go ahead and end this first episode here. Remember, down in the comments, we're looking for two things. First of all, we're looking for patrons. If you want to be a crew member, uh, post the name you want your crew member to be. It doesn't have to be your own name. Uh, it could be any name, as long as it's you know YouTube appropriate uh, and, and game appropriate. I think last time... Wasn't this game uh, had a censorship yeah, a little bit, like on a, anything that would be considered inappropriate? Like you can, you know, name your your characters, curse words. 
Uh, so it does need to be, you know, a somewhat appropriate name. Uh, and then also let us know, like, if you want any, you know, obviously what role you want. But if you want any uh, certain uh, customization Features, options yeah, yeah uh, for, your, for your look. With the gear, we'll be basing it largely off your position. Um, yeah, and I think everybody also has armor on as well. So you wouldn't be able to select anything because we don't have a lot of customization open yet. Uh, but yeah, if you are a patron, then post down below. Uh, what you'd want your, your character to look like and be named. Uh, we're also looking for name suggestions for our spaceship because uh, the running duck is just not going to work, yeah. guys. So we need some... The runner duck, that's what it's called. Uh, so we need some good name suggestions. I know it is bad luck to change the name of your ship. You gotta um, have a virgin piss on it. Yeah, a virgin's gotta come pee on it. So if you know any virgins <laughs> yeah. who really have to pee. <laughs> <laughs> They'll come pee on our ship. Oh, that guy looks like a virgin. <laughs> Yeah, we'll just get him, and he can come be on the ship, and then we'll be fine. We don't have to worry about that bad luck. I feel like there's a lot of virgins on this ship. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? I don't know. You got mixed genders here up in space Mr. Hawaiian with shirt. nothing else to do here. I don't know. I think there's a lot of sex going on in space. <laughs> uh, so if you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Uh, we do read and reply to all comments. I love talking to you guys. Uh, if you're looking for anything to watch while you wait for the next episode, which hopefully the, the episodes won't be delayed, guys. I should mention this. My, my throat is feeling really scratchy. I'm feeling like I might be catching a cold here, and both of our kids have the cold. Our son, uh, he, I think he first got sick last Thursday. He infected us all. He infected us all. Yeah, he got sick last Wednesday or Thursday. And then our daughter started having symptoms today, and now I'm starting to have symptoms tonight. Uh, my throat's all sore, so I think we're all going to get it, guys. And so that might affect videos. Uh, we're trying not to, but, you know, if we are if we sound really terrible, uh, then obviously, we, you know, we don't want that to uh, affect the video. And then once we start the coughing as well, then it can get kind of difficult to record. So we're going to try and keep this going, uh, keep the series going. But, yeah, it's if we get sick, then we get sick, and, and it might affect uh, when the videos come out. So do keep that in mind, guys. Uh, but if you're looking for anything to watch while you wait for that next episode... Go check out the front page of our channel, and we have 3,000-something videos, all sorted by genre, so you should be able to find something to watch. We play all types of games. Maybe go check out that Brom the uh, Bomber Crew series. Uh, if you haven't watched that one already, again, had a lot of fun with that, though a lot of people died, guys. <laughs> Quite a few crew members died in that. I'll give you a little sample of what to expect for, for this series here. Uh, but those are all sorted by genre. We play RPGs, uh, action games, uh, simulator games, strategy. Uh, pretty much anything that looks fun, uh, we'll play it. So you should be able to find something that you'd enjoy watching. If you're looking for any links, check out the description of any of our videos. You'll find links to our PayPal, Patreon, and Teespring store if you'd like to help support the channel. You'll also find links to our Discord if you'd like to join our community. And finally, you'll find links to all of our social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff you'd like to follow us on there we're gonna have to have several cuts in this finale here guys because i'm getting a bit raspity uh so i do hope to see you on that next video which again should be on wednesday unless this my throat gets significantly worse and my voice is all messed up in which case it'll be out as soon as we can guys uh, as soon as we can get the video out again it, this series might end up getting a little bit messed up as far as schedule goes because of uh the cold coming through through our house uh, but hopefully should have the next episode on wednesday I do hope to see you on that next video, and thanks for watching.